Namaste. This month on 22nd, we are going to celebrate the birthday of Saturn, the planet of karma and transformation. According to the scriptures, he is the son of Surya, the sun god and Chaya Devi. Saturn is the planet of equity and justice. He has many names. He is fondly called as Manda, meaning slow moving because he takes 2.5 years to cross a zodiac sign. Sadly, he is always misunderstood as bad planet because he always advocates justice, honesty and teaches life lessons in hard way. He received the boon from the Trinity Gods that he can bestow longevity to whoever prays to him. That is why he is called as Ayur Daya Karaka, the bestower of long life. Saturn is a planet of many good qualities. He is, he is known for his passion, determination, discipline, perseverance and patience. This reminds me of a very nice story about Saturn from an ancient text. One day in Surya's palace where the entire family was assembled, Yama, son of sun god, came home after, after completing the penance in forest. Upon entering the palace, he touched the feet of his parents and shared his joy of receiving boon and blessing from Brahma, the creator. He was also very proud and happy that he had been appointed as one of the eight guardians of the direction and god of death. His mother Sanjana and father Surya were very proud of him. He also said Brahma advised to propitiate Shiva to receive his blessings and, not, and uh, get knowledge from him to judge the merits and demerits of the dead. Upon his advice, he did penance and obtained boon from Shiva as well. Listening to the success story of uh, his brother Yama, Saturn also wanted to achieve much more than his brother. He took the blessings of his parents and told them that Yama was able to receive boon only from two of the trinities, but I will do penance and receive blessings of all the trinities at once. Surya advised, it is not possible, but Saturn said, I shall come back victorious father. He was very determined and left the palace. On his way, he met sage Narada and explained about his wish. Even Narada discouraged him, saying it is not possible to propitiate all the three simultaneously. Saturn turned deaf ears towards him and told Narada, I know it is very tough and unprecedented and has never been attempted in the past or never in the future. I will make it possible. And he left for his penance. Sunny formulated three Ashtakshari mantras, three incantations composed of eight letters each addressing the trinities with intense concentration. Many devas tried to distract his penance as it was reaching its new heights. When his penance reached the creator Brahma, he came down to give his boon. But Sunny refused because he wanted all the three to come together and started his penance. Later, Vishnu came down to bestow his boon. Sunny still refused and did not accept the boon because he was very determined to get the boon from all the three together. Touched by his passion, determination and perseverance, the trinity together appeared before him. Sunny entered his penance and took their blessings and received his boon from them. Sanishara returned home victorious and prostrated before his parents' feet. This story emphasizes the quality of determination, perseverance and passion of the planet Saturn. Let us pray to Saturn on his birthday for these qualities which are very essential for us to progress in life. And Hanuman is one of the controllers of Saturn. Why? Because according to Ramayana, one of the ancient epics of India, Hanuman rescued all the nine planets, including Saturn, 
from the clutches of the demon king Ravana. In gratitude, Saturn promised Hanuman that he would not harm anyone who worships him. Hence, propitiating Hanuman can give relief from malefic effects of Saturn. Hanuman is also the archetype who can help you receive the positive blessings of strong Saturn, being disciplined, patient, organized and hardworking. May Lord Hanuman and Saturn bless you and your family members with all that you want in your life. Namaste.